Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter four, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started. You guys are going to love this, okay? So you will see six goes into 24, four times, and then you're gonna add a zero one. Not kidding, it's that easy. Nine times what is 54? Well, that's times six. Nine times six is 54, then you have two zeros. Boom. Now, five doesn't go into three, but five does go into 30 six times, and then you have one more zero. Boom. Okay? Six goes into 48. Eight times. Two zeros. Done. Seven goes into 42. Six times. Add a zero. I'm telling you, you guys are going to love these. Three goes into 15 five times and then add that zero on. You guys are going to do eight through 10. You totally can. Okay? All right. Four goes into 28. Well, four times what is 28? Four times seven. Okay? What times three equals 18? Three times six. Nine times what is 45? Nine times five. Okay? Now, oh. See, we should have just gone down because 4 goes into 28 seven times, but then I have that extra zero. Now 4 goes into 28 seven times, but then I have two zeros. Same thing on this one. Okay, and on this one. Okay, super easy, guys. Okay. An assembly, add an assembly. 180 students sit in nine equal rows. How many students sit in each row? Well, nine goes into 18 two times. Then add on that extra zero. Students. How many students sit in each row? 20 students. Okay. Hillary can read 560 words in seven minutes. How many words can she read in one minute? Well, 56 divided by seven is eight. Add that other zero on there. 80 words. Okay, you guys do 16 and 17. You totally can. I believe in you. Okay, you're going to do the same exact thing. Okay. All right, we're going to go over to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check because you're amazing. We're going to go down and do the spiral review. Okay. A full container of juice holds 64 fluid ounces. How many seven fluid ounce servings of juice are in a full container? Well, 64. We're going to divide that by seven ounces. Okay, well, seven doesn't go into six, placeholder, but seven times nine is 63, and we'd have one left over. So, nine servings. Okay. Not bad. Paolo pays $244 for five identical calculators. How much does he pay for one calculator? So we need to. 244 divided by five. Okay, I'm actually going to use our scratch paper for this one just so that we've got it. Okay. Okay, all right, guys. So, 5 is not going to go into 2, placeholder. 5 will go into 24. 4 times, 4 times 5 is 20. Subtract and get 4. Okay? Now, 4 is smaller than 5, so I can bring down my other 4. 5 is going to go into 44. 8 times, because 8 times 5 is 40. When I subtract, I get 0. Okay? Now, because I need to know how much each one costs, that means that I can... Put a decimal, bring that decimal up, put a zero. Oh, sorry, that should have been a four, not a zero. I'm sorry, guys. And then bring that down. Well, five goes into 40, we just said eight times, which is 40. Subtract and get zero, okay? Now we actually get zero, okay? So, but we don't say $48.08, and cents, $48.80, okay? So, $48.80, okay? Write your work down now so they can see how you got it, okay? 
and make sure you put the dollar sign because that's your word label. Okay, word problem, word answer. Okay. A football team paid $28 per jersey and they bought 16 jerseys. How much money did they spend? Well, 28 times 16. And whatever our answer is, it's going to have a dollar sign in front of it. Okay, how much did they spend? 28, 16. Okay. Six times eight is 48. Carry the four. Six times two is 12, plus four more is 16. Now we're gonna go through and we're gonna go tick, tack, toe, and one times 28 is 28. Add those two together. We're gonna get eight, 14, carry the one and four. So $448, okay? All right, Suzanne bought 50 apples at an apple orchard. She bought four times as many red apples as green apples. All right, so if this is her green apples, then she bought four times as many red apples, okay? And all together, she bought 50 apples, okay? So now we need to take that 50, and we're going to divide it by the number of boxes we have. One, two, three, four, five boxes. Well, 50 divided by five is gonna be 10. So that's not bad, okay? So that means that each one of these boxes is worth 10. Okay? How many more red apples than green apples did Suzanne buy? Well, you could count them up and then subtract, or you could cancel out the ones they have in common and then just count the ones that are left, which is 30 apples. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 4.4. Come on back for 4.5. See you soon.